everything is changing. Mm -hmm. What this guy says is, when it goes digital, then it goes exponential, and that's what we, yeah. we don't people don't realize. And so he used the example in this book, Bold uh, Eastman Kodak, Kodak, right? Oh. And Kodak actually came up with the first digital camera, so that's an example. Rest so Kodak, zero, the first digital camera came out. And he says, that's what happens. You didn't realize it, but when, it, when something goes digital, it goes on this exponential curve. It doesn't mm -hmm. matter what it is. And you know what recently went digital? What? Leave your rose-colored glasses at the door. It's time for Carl and Mike. Whoa. Whoa. Welcome, Carl and Mike. I'm Carl. I'm Mike, and we're back at it. Back at it at the... Lonely Corner Bakery Cafe. It's a lot quieter in the afternoon. It's the afternoon crowd. Yeah. People uh, are at work, Michael. They work <laughs> a living. That really make it money. makes Remember us that? sound sad. Remember when we made money? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, it's getting harder and harder to remember that. Yes. It is? It used to be it's when receding. you had a business. Yes. Yeah. Things have changed. Businesses have changed. Segway, segway, segway. <laughs> yes, they are changing. Uh, I'm reading a book right now called Bold by Peter Domendis. Bold? Bold. He wrote the book Abundance. Okay. And there's another guy that wrote it with him. But um, these are top thinkers, Michael. Top Futurist, thinkers. if you will. Futurist. Um, and in Bold, he talks about um, the changes in the workplace. Yeah. And, you know, when we were talking in the other episode on freelance society, how we might all go freelance, I think it may be even bigger than that. And I, and I don't know where it's going to lead. But the phenomenon of Uber and Airbnb it may not just be a one-off kind of thing. Um, Airbnb, he says in this book, is valued higher than Hilton. Now Which is about, bizarre to me. Think about that. That's how much, absolutely How many employees for Hilton me. has? Yeah. How many buildings yeah. Hilton has, Yeah. right? And here's Airbnb. I don't know how many employees they have. I'm less than Hilton. Oh, a lot less. Maybe like 100? Yeah. I don't know. Um, no buildings. Yeah. Right? No. But what they've done is they've tapped in the power of crowds. Right? Same thing Uber did. If you have, mm -hmm. they've tapped in the inefficiency in the systems and the power of so what has Uber done? Uber has, anybody who has a car mm -hmm. can utilize the space mm -hmm. that isn't being mm -hmm. utilized. And that's what Airbnb does, is utilizing yeah. things that aren't being utilized for financial gain. Yes, but, and, and I agree with that. But there's there, the people that are using their cars and using their houses for financial gain have a need to replace money that they're losing other no, places. Not no, I think so. I think a lot of Airbnb are vacation homes that are sitting there empty. Well, the vacation. If you've well, got a vacation them, home, yeah. you're not in the lower, lower some class. Some of them are definitely vacation and homes. And you're not going to stay in a, you're not going to stay in the projects. But I think a lot of people that are doing it out of the house are, are doing it to make some extra income. Right. You know, But is that literally. a bad thing? That's a, no, it's another, no, but it's I'm another saying. another income stream. No, that's true. But what I'm saying is in normal times, when they were able to survive on their salaries, they yeah. it would not be something that they would consider letting a stranger crash on a couch. Right. Well, let it, right. I mean, I don't know about how much of it's a couch. I think it's more of an extra bedroom. No, it's extra bedroom. It's where it started out as. Is yeah. Literally, I mean, people know couch that. Couch surfing. Yeah, couch Matter surfing. Fact, but probably it's, is it's a couch way B&B. Oh, it's way beyond that now. Yeah. And uh, it, Airbnb I is yeah, a fascinating a, business to yes. me. It is fascinating. Right. Yeah, I mean, and it's not just Airbnb. There's HomeAway and uh, VRBO. It's all the same thing. VRBO is vacation rental by owner, mm -hmm. and HomeAway is the same kind of thing. You know, rent my house, rent my room, rent you, whatever it is. So there's right. several sites that are doing that now. Right. And I was just reading there was a, a, a group in San Francisco fighting uh, the Airbnb, but, but it's paid for. By mm -hmm. the hotel. Oh, it's paid for by Hilton and people right. like that. No, yeah. no, no, yeah, yeah no, and it's cutting into their business. Their Airbnbs is the way they're positioning that is you're giving money to rich people. The what? They're they're positioning it as you're you're letting the fat cats get fatter because what Hilton's positioning their self yeah, at, oh against please. Airbnb. Oh, like they're not the fat cats. No. Right. I mean, come well, on. I know. Yeah. Come on. So there's this new economy, and I don't. You know, we talked about freelance, and I. 
so what? A it's step, a sharing economy, which I think it's economy. a sharing economy, and you get something out of it. Everybody gets something out of it. But I don't you know? know if I buy your premise. So if, if someone was making had a salary and they were making thirty five thousand a year, they still might be. You know, no, no matter what you're making, there's always things you can't afford, right? Or yeah. you want to afford yeah. but you can't afford it. Yeah. There's kids with better school. Yeah. There's whatever yeah. vacation. Yeah. So I, I think I well, think Airbnb they, isn't a product of of a bad economy yeah. as much as it's a product of technologically yeah. feasible. Well, I don't I don't know how Airbnb is running. All I know is is Perry's experience with Uber yes. was not a good one. And it was it was not just his experience, it was with other drivers. They talked to each other. Right. And you know, the drivers here in Dallas were were uh, picketing Uber corporate because Uber, what they were doing is the uber black drivers the guy that buys their buys a more expensive car because they can get a, a bigger fee a bigger that rate. Works? oh that's you, you absolutely works kind of absolutely works right. if uber black and uber x you have to have black cars they have to be high-end cars oh, they've got to be late yeah, models and when you and you're more of a limo driver then and they make more money at it Right. And Uber so the bigger charges, car, the better charges, car you have, the more oh, money absolutely. you can make. Yeah, absolutely. But then, but, but. So what is that a bad thing? But, well, here's why it's a bad thing. You have to pay for your own chauffeur's license, your own insurance. Those cars that are bigger usually use a lot more gas. You're, you're putting way more miles on your car than you would. I mean, if your average person puts like 12,000 12, miles uh, a year on a car, uh, Uber drivers are burning through three to four times right. as many because you're you're running that much longer. But I don't understand. If it's not profitable, not worth it, then the market will bear, will it not? Uh, they, well, that's what's happening now. They're starting to kick back. There's some more more drivers that are going. So I think this you, is really not as good a deal as we thought it was right. going to be. So Uber can Uber can grind through there. Yeah. For a while. Yeah. He can some, grind through there for a while. At some point, walk. there's going to yeah. be a point where yeah. they say, "Fuck it." Yeah, and not Perry was it. Perry was putting the numbers to it. I said, "Look at the numbers on it," yeah. and and this is not wear and tear on your car, but just right. gas and hours. He was making you know ten, twelve dollars an hour. That ain't that great. No, you can be a barista and make that kind of money. Right. You know, and uh, uh, but uh, and they they tell the uh, the uh, people that are the fares not to tip. Why? I, that's a real good question, isn't it? They say that's all included in the deal. Well, no. Uh -uh. They say restaurants are starting to move to that direction yeah, as well. Yeah, that's because they're paying them a so-called living wage instead of paying. You know, putting you know, it automatically into the bill. Well, a lot of waiters yeah. in the restaurants, they'll get paid, and most people don't realize, they'll get paid about 2 $3 an hour. It's not right. minimal wage. You're getting paid 2 oh, or $3 yeah, dollars special an hour. Wage for that. Yeah, because you, supposedly you're going to be making a lot of money on tips. Well, right. sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. Depends the restaurant. Yeah. Right. Yeah, the the truth, ugly the the uh, sweet truth about waiting tables is you live off cash. You're not reporting any of that to the IRS. Most waiter, you'll report a small amount, but it's not anywhere right. remotely related to how much money you make on tips. You do that sure. just enough to keep everybody at bay. So, but yeah, I think I think there's there is a huge shift in in economy, and it it goes back to some of the other things I think we were talking about. People are becoming more independent because they're being forced to become more independent because corporations well, are shedding sure. people. That's for sure. So the question is, uh, this crowd thing, you know, does it continue to grow in which directions? I think it will definitely continue to grow in which direction. I don't have a clue, man. Well, you got to think it through. What do you yeah. have that's sitting there that could be worth value? I mean, the biggest thing that people have. Rooms biggest thing, and cars. Rooms, and cars. cars, and your time. Yeah. Or your expertise. Yeah. So there's this other thing where you do it for recognition or getting your name out. Mm -hmm. You know, so this guy did this trend site where they uh, they offer. It's kind of meets Reddit, you know, uh, where they offer a, they spot a trend or something new mm -hmm. that's happening. Mm -hmm. They put it up there and then kind of gets voted up. They're going to get recognition for who they are and the blog they have, and so it's kind of yeah. trading. You give us okay. content yeah. for our thing, yeah. and we'll give you recognition for your brand. Yeah, and see what they're doing is they're using other people's intellect to build their business, and pe and all people are looking for is a little pat on the head. That's bullshit. Well, no, they're yes. looking for audience. These huh? people are looking for audience. Well, they're looking for audience. Yeah, which but they, they can then sell their affiliate well, products in to theory, and sell yes. their. But what you've got, the other people that have got the trend spotting thing, what they've got is everybody out doing that for them. 
Right. So again, it's creatively figuring out a way to crowdsource, whether it be content, whether it be rooms, whether it be cars. Um, and that's a whole different economy than freelance Well, yeah, it's, it's crowdsourcing something that someone or a company or, used or to pay for themselves. Setting up a situation where you can do the transaction between individuals in the sharing economy. Basically become a middleman. Yes, the middleman yeah. for a transaction That's what Uber that never is. happened. Uber, Uber's a well, middleman. Well, so is Craigslist. Well, right? Craigslist doesn't pay, charge you anything. Craigslist is more, uh, Craigslist they, there is, is a free. place, well, they're not doing yeah. it for free. They have very small well, areas where they charge. Some, yeah. That's a whole other thing about this new economy kind yeah. of thing. The free, yeah. giving the information free. Remember in the podcast thing where uh, John Lee Dumas talked about you just give stuff for free, and then what happens is you give away your best stuff for then people buy either acts continued yeah, access. Not your best stuff. <laughs> well, no, they can they buy anything else after that. You know, a certain percentage do. A certain percentage stuff do. So it's like the record music, right? Yeah. Get get the music for free, but you're gonna a certain percentage buy the concert tickets. That's the yeah. this is freemium model that's yeah. happening out there, and everybody's still trying to get their heads around it. People that haven't got their heads around it. Uh, or is it to their detriment in every case? Or is it to their detriment in the beginning stages of it? And then does Uber get wiser to the, to the drivers they find a mix? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or is So there's three ways to look at it. One or does is, Uber become the next pets.com, which ain't right. around anymore? Right. So one know, route is question. this doesn't work and it collapses. Yeah. yeah. Route two is um, it does work, but the advantage changes from advantage Uber expense driver to a little bit better. What's to keep somebody else from coming up with an app? that does the same thing that Airbnb does, but doesn't charge anybody anything. They just want to do it because it's cool, and they want to be, provide some sort of service. It's the you Craigslist can't. of it's Airbnb. It's hard and, and to so, do that. Well, okay, well, why, you why can't something. you do that? Why can't you do an Air, why can't you be the Craigslist of Airbnb and you just make money off advertising? You see that somebody want, is getting a place in San Francisco, so you send them some advertising of restaurants in San Francisco. That's the model right there. They don't make any. They don't make any money off the transaction between the two people, right. and that cuts Airbnb out of the deal altogether. I mean, completely out of the deal. And you could do the same thing with Uber. If there was another organization that was the Craigslist of Uber, and they said, "Okay, we're looking for people who live in uh, the East Dallas area of town that always drive in downtown every day, and they drive in by themselves and would like to have some other, share their car with somebody." Okay. So that's just that's just hitch hitching a ride. So, and so that person, yes. So that other person buys a tank of gas every couple of weeks, and at least it's something. The thing that I think you start to fall apart on your argument, though, mm -hmm. is interesting argument, is there's some cost involved to get this thing up. So you need venture capital. So you need money people. Money people want to return on their investment. Well, they're going to get it on the advertising that you get. Do they buy into that business model? that they're going to put their money and give you money. Somebody but, bought into Craigslist. Well, Craigslist was there kind of at the beginning. Yeah. But um, if you if you say it's going to be like a Craigslist for Airbnb. That only works, in my opinion, if the crowd becomes wiser and hipper and moves and moves more flexibly. So I think the crowd will. I think the, I think the crowd will Which become wiser. Which the power wiser. is there, too, because of the power of viralness. You know, hey, everybody, there's a new Uber in town, and they're paying me better or whatever, or, you know. You could have some switching back and forth like that. I think the crowd is probably wiser and hipper than the people that are developing the apps. And that's why something like Uber catches fire so fast. Because there was already oh, yeah. a need there. Airbnb and, and, caught and, and, on. And so they were already fast. hip for it. Yeah. It took Hilton years and years and years of money and buildings and mm -hmm. people. That's all bricks Airbnb's and mortar built. bullshit. That's, that's old school. It is old school, isn't it? Is, it is. I mean, it's totally old school. So what, does the hotels go away to a certain degree? Yeah, to the degree that they were, yeah. Now, what's the Airbnb slash Uber equivalent of, instead of catching a ride from this part of town to that part of town, catching a ride from Dallas to L.A.? What's the equivalent of that? No. I don't know. There is no Well, not long yet. Long-term shuttle service? Yeah, so w what we're doing is we're talking about short-term shuttle service, which is Uber. Airbnb is is not short is not is you you go someplace and you stay someplace that's not a hotel, right. which I think more and more people are becoming comfortable with. In fact, they even look for that. How about Airbnb Premium, where you make them dinner? Uh, could be. 
could be. Yeah, you provide a dinner with it. Well, that's a, that. What that is a bed and breakfast. It's that it is a bed, bed and breakfast. breakfast. It's a B and D, bread and dinner. Yeah. Bed and dinner. Yeah. There's a spot. Maybe we've just come up with it. I don't Airbnb. know. Airbnb. Yeah, I mean, you're going to be... Okay, here's the Air deal. Air, bed, and dinner. Here, here's the deal. You, you, you got meal. somebody staying with you. You're going to cook a meal we'll for yourself. Whole foodies. You're, you're, yeah, you're cooking a food. You're cooking... Oh, yes, a foodies. Yeah, a, foodies would be a deal. Here. And so what you do, you're cooking a meal for yourself anyway at night, right? Yeah, there and you so got why there's don't, something why don't you Why don't you throw in the... A, 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 they can stay at your Airbnb... Or and you can include dinner, and it costs them another ten, fifteen bucks. Hey, wait, how about just dinner? Why do you need to stay with them? Home meals yeah. instead of restaurants, probably. Yes. Probably restaurants yeah. are brick and yeah. mortar. Yeah, dinner. And this no. podcast is now. No, no that could, this is seriously, this is a big leader. idea this, right here. No, this is the fucking this is thought, thought leadership. This is yes. Hold on, this my is thought leadership. God, where you just go to someone's house for dinner? Yeah. How many singles are there mm-hmm. out there that don't ever have a home cooked meal or don't yes. like to cook? So how many people love to cook? Well, and then you set it up what you're going to cook that night, yeah. so you get your choice so what of what you, you want. Huh? No, this is the meal that I'm cooking on Wednesday right. night. This is Thursday right. night. On Wednesday you know night, what? I'm cooking. And see what it is. You you hit on the key there oh, is is the people the that choice. are single. Yeah. So all of a sudden, instead of staying home watching TV with your dog, so you yeah, list not only the food you do, you're going to have your interest because it's a conversation. Uh, Let's do this. We just did a billion dollar idea. But you charge them for it. You charge yeah. them the same thing they would pay to go to a Friday's or some bullshit well, like I don't know. that. You, you know, like ten or twelve bucks. You, you, you got about you, the cooker. Decide, yeah, right, yeah, and you can have as you can decide the dish, uh-huh. you decide the guests, you right, you decide the cost, or they could share guests. In other words, be a potluck. It could be a potluck thing where people bring their own. It, we're Thursday nights Indian food, and then people that like to cook Indian food and want to learn more yeah. about Indian food, they bring stuff. Yeah, that's a and salon it's Indian. almost. Yeah. Salon yeah. meets dinner. Yeah, it's bringing people together because you don't even know your neighbor these days. A lot no, of people. Uh-uh. And so what you're doing is you're putting people together based on common interest, interest of right. food. Because your, your neighbor could be, mm-hmm. you know, totally have zero interest. Well, see, people. the restaurants are going to get all pissed off about that. And they'll of course go to, they are. They'll go to war, well, just like the hotels lose. will. You know, but the restaurants, em. you've got a building. Yeah. Eh, fuck them. i got you a building. A it's called a house. It's called a house. And I'm going to use it to feed people and make money off of it, or I'm going to have people. And I don't get conversation when oh, I go to a restaurant. Deal. You, I don't get conversation. You're when sitting I go at to a restaurant. table with ten people, and you go, "I want to enter." This is everybody, and get. Oh, by the way, this is Bob. He's in from Minneapolis. He's staying with me. I'm running an Airbnb on the side, and then Bob's staying with me, having dinner tonight. So yeah. all of a sudden, Bob gets to in, gets to meet all these people. If from you want to have it, if you can, only yes. have one guest yes. that yes. night. Yes. 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 You'll have all sorts of. You'll have grandmas cooking. You'll have the foodie who's you know. FTL, you Carl. You a $50 meal? FTL. What is FTL? Fucking thought leadership. <laughs> we have just done a billion-dollar business. Are we going to keep it to ourselves? Oh, this, yeah. <laughs> this we'll we'll cut this. Airing. Yeah, we'll cut this. Wow, Michael, we could be on to something. No, but I say that's well, a, We just need that's somebody one. to put I mean, it so people, food so lodging. We figured it out pretty food quick. Food lodging, Less transportation. Yes. And so, uh, food. okay. Food restaurants are Okay, here's you. the deal. How about what, movies? What is the? Why do you got to go to a big old movie? What theater? is the Airbnb Uber equivalent of work employment? What is the Airbnb? Well, freelance, freelance is the equivalent. You hire somebody temps. That's already happening, right? Isn't it temps and freelance? Yeah, but temps is kind of a that's a negative word, you know. That's like, you know, chicks freelance and, is a better chicks, word. Than temp. Chicks and chicks and short skirts. Those are temps. Yeah. Freelance, I think well, speaking it's... Speaking of, can we go to sex for a second here? Oh, yeah, I sure. I saw this the other day. <laughs> chicks okay. with dicks. Chicks with dicks? There's a lot of them. There are? Oh, you mean trans people? Is that what they are? Yeah. They just no. haven't gone through the... No, uh, we're talking breasts. Oh, breasts with dicks. I saw that on the Internet. Oh, <laughs> the day. no. They have that on the Internet? <laughs> Yes. It kind of surprised me that there's this world of that. Yes, Mike, they have that on the internet. That's why Playboy <laughs> doesn't show pictures anymore. You know, yeah, but what's it, the deal with Playboy? I don't know, but did you I know we're going to go back to the you, other thing. Did you no s- nudes in Playboy? Uh-huh. Really? That'd be like no words in the New Yorker. Yeah. <laughs> you know so now I'm when saying? you say you're really reading it for the articles, you really are really reading are. it for the articles. Or you'd be a New Yorker with no... Uh, Cartoons, no I words. No, it's these. What? Yeah, I don't, I, I don't know. But what do you call you, it Playboy? What did you, you get? Did you get Playboy? Did you sneak find Playboys when you were a kid? You'd find them in somebody's trash or dad, somebody's dad had one or yeah. older brother, yeah. and you'd sneak yeah. it, and stick it under the mattress. 
or yes. hide it somewhere, yes. you know. Penthouse. Penthouse. Oh. Penthouse stories. Penthouse. That's the first fur. I was that more was of a penthouse than a Playboy guy because I'm yeah. a writer. So yeah. I appreciated the but stories. But you didn't go all the way to Hustler, right? Yeah, Hustler, no. See, Penthouse was a little bitty hints of stuff. I mean, it was full nude, but there's a little bit. Penthouse showed you the fur. It did. Hustler, the pink. That was freaky. To that me. was the, yeah. yeah. That was the three levels right there, you know. Right. And that was. Uh, they did it before you. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Hustler was like going to anatomy class. Larry Flint. What a <laughs> greasy motherfucker that he guy was. is. Oh Jesus. He ain't no Hugh Hefner. No, he ain't no Hugh Hefner. No. Anyway, we digressed. Oh, we big did. Time. Yeah. But we did. Get that from Carl Mike. But that's a you know that's another we're talking about disruptive. How oh, it has porn been disruptive. Was disruptive. Yeah, the, that's inter, crowdsourced porn. The interwebs really fucked porn. Really did. You know, hardcore porn. It's you, not the interwebs. It's the what the interwebs allows you to do. It allows you to break barriers. The whole society was built very inefficiently. Well, you well, don't, internet's need, you don't need to order VHS tape in a brown type paper wrapper anymore. Or a VHS tape. Or, we used to yeah, go to someone's not that long ago. Yeah. We went to a store to get a tape, and you, you know, I mean, think about the inefficiency of that well, whole process. I didn't, Carl. I'm sure you did, but well, I'd go to a store to get your tapes. I, no, I, I, I talk didn't. about all videos. <laughs> no, I know. Blockbusters. Well, that's true. That's yeah, blockbusters the same way. You know? Yeah. Well, this iPhone here has like 70 products. I think they did the math on it uh, in 19, you know, 80 something. Yeah. This is revalued at like. Ten thousand dollars because of all you got a, not just the clock in there, yeah. not just you yeah. Know, yeah, yeah, I mean yeah, all yeah, the things yeah, you've yeah, got yeah. in there. So it seems like old school is building buildings, right? So are we something gonna, you could hold on to? The rest of it's vapor. So what does it look like then? Does it look like that we are going to have really no strip malls, but you're going to have a lot of warehouses? Ooh, that'd be sweet. You're going to have a lot of warehouses, but you're not going to have strip malls. Well, the, and and we're not going to. Are we going to get together? The social becomes kind of a more, could possibly, looking at our dinner idea, mm -hmm. a one-on-one -on -one kind of thing or a mm -hmm. small group kind mm -hmm. of thing. Or there's meetups. There's things like that that are happening. But the traditional way that we would get together or the way we would interact with humans would be in shopping and churches. Meringue à toi. <laughs> It's a dessert club. <laughs> and more. <laughs> See, this is what happened when we skid into the sex part of things. <laughs> you know, we really shouldn't have mixed it up. <laughs> no. We may need to edit that. Oh, Jesus, Mary, <laughs> Joseph. <laughs> but you no, know. it's all part of the, what, the disruptor. I don't know how the show notes are going to look on this. <laughs> It'll be messy. <laughs> sharing economy, sharing economy. Chicks with dicks. No. <laughs> the show notes are going to be sticky. <laughs> No, but it's what the disrupting economy. There's nothing it hasn't touched that yes. I can think of. There's really nothing it hasn't so touched. Everything is changing. Mm -hmm. What this guy says is when it goes digital, then it goes exponential. And that's what we, yeah. we don't, people don't realize. And so he used the example in this book, Bold, uh, Eastman Kodak, Kodak, right? Oh. Well, Kodak actually came up with the first digital camera. So that's an example. Rest so Kodak, zero, first digital camera came out. And he says, that's what happens. You didn't realize it. But when, it, when something goes digital, it goes on this exponential curve. It doesn't mm -hmm. matter what it is. And you know what recently went digital? What? Medicine. Medical. Oh, yeah. So what happens is you don't notice it at first. Mm -hmm. Because exponential, you know, exponential is 1 becomes 2 becomes mm -hmm. 4 becomes mm -hmm. 8 becomes 16 becomes 30. Right? So the same thing even happened with the, you know, when they looked at it, the first mm -hmm. digital camera, Kodak looked at it, it was 0 0.1 megapixels. Mm -hmm. Well, 0 0.1. Yeah. Can't even do anything until yeah. it's 5. Right, but then I didn't realize the capability. Then went to zero point two, but zero point one to zero point two is nothing. So there's a deceptive period yeah. in exponentiality where it looks like it's nothing. Medical diagnostics may go that way. It's because going medical that way. diagnostics are nothing more than a doctor asking you informed questions, and there's no reason those informed questions can't be part of a list. Right. Okay. You come in. You got a problem with your foot. Right. Right. And so the doctor goes, well, what's the deal here? And you look at it, and he asks a bunch of questions, and he says, let me look at it. Well, you got your camera in your pocket. Mm -hmm. You can put it on there, take a shot, you know, right. video it around, whatever you want to do. Yeah. 
and, and send it to him. And then he says, go here, go yeah. there, go yeah. here. Or he looks at other images that are the same. Yeah, or you look at other images that are the same. I mean, that's that that shit's right. already on there. Right. That's going to change. Uh, it it already self- has. I don't think it's been, for- I don't know that it's been formalized. I haven't tried to self-diagnose. Well, no, yeah. I take that back. You know, this, I had don't that. Don't you try to self-diagnose at first? Oh, sure. Well, it's like, like well. When our dog was sick, yeah. you know, we self-diagnosed. Yeah. And mm-hmm. it turned out we got it we got it right, but it was so horrible, we said, oh, it can't be that. Because the dog ended up having Lou Gehrig's. Mm. So we saw that, and the guy that seemed that look, well, it nah, can't be that. Because that was because like, you didn't want to believe that because that's it was right, so bad. Because that was death, mm-hmm. right? So we went to the next thing, you know, and that was like mm-hmm. a year before mm-hmm. it all happened. Mm-hmm. But I think people do self-diagnose mm-hmm. first thing these yeah. days. And and uh, anyway, I interrupted you. Go ahead. No, self-diagnose, self-litigate. Yeah. You know, and then all of a sudden the doctors and lawyers are sitting back. I mean, well, no, but then it's going to happen. Services. Well, it's going to happen. Oh, this is a good one. Tom, my friend in Houston who's got a Tesla, he calls yesterday. He was just like thrilled shitless. He'd got the latest software dump from Tesla. You know, when you have a car, you get these periodic software dumps where they upgrade your car. So all of a sudden his car's faster. It's already fast as shit. But they've done something to tweak the motor and made it faster. But here's the cool part. The screen, which is in the center dash, right? which is about the size of a laptop. Okay, that's what that's what right. all the information comes right. in there. Totally changed the look of it. Still has speedometer, that kind of bullshit, but what it's got now is an overhead view of your car. And it's it, it's divided into quadrants. So it shows you what's up in front to the left, up in front to the right, behind you to the left, behind you to the right. Because that's that's your area of concern, right? Right. What kind of things are dangerous? So when when things start to get too close to you, it gives you warnings. And this is all prep for getting you comfortable enough with the interface of the car that you can let the car take over. Right. It's, it's the, That's it. Start, we talked about that. Yeah. Right? And so That's what they're doing is they're things. they're they're gradually with software yes. getting you more and more comfortable it's with it. It doesn't happen. Two becomes four becomes eight. It happens faster, and it happens... Well, it's happening real fast now yeah. with Tesla, because the thing will already self-parallel park and some other shit. Right. But that's because the cars went digital, right? Huh? That's yes. What, when it goes digital, yes. that's the yes. whole theory. When yeah. it goes digital, yeah. it goes exponential. Yeah. You're not going to get a horse and buggy to do that. And that means the power of whatever it is. Mm-hmm. When it goes digital, when it goes exponential, two things happen. The cost goes down exponential, and the power goes up mm-hmm. exponential. That's why the cost of this thing, this phone, is under $1,000, but the, co- the cost of the stuff would have cost yeah. millions yeah. of dollars. Yeah. You know, not that long ago. So it goes. Are you drawing? That's an air chart. I'm, I'm, draw, I'm drawing on a, <laughs> an on a air podcast. Air chart. <laughs> yes. I think capabilities up, cost down. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's, it's, it's interesting to watch all this stuff. And you can, all you can do is just strap on for the ride. And we haven't even know? gotten to robots yet. No. That's common. When they start to be able to, well, I mean, it's already there in a, if you go to a yeah. car plant. But the people think it's robots going to replace us. It's actually going to be a combo. I think it's going to be a combination. You're going to be part man, part machine, Michael, mm-hmm. until the Borg there swallows you whole. There won't be blow-up dolls anymore. <laughs> Get back to the One sex point thing, aren't sure, sure. <laughs> well, I don't know what we're going to call this show. Uh, uh, I don't either. Every, it, it's touched every facet of our lives and continues to do so at a rate that's now what's happening though is people don't have that um, confidence and comfort in a specific job and paycheck okay would you say that yeah, that's, that's going true. away too uh, and it's going to go away for a lot of people okay so that gets replaced with what stock options right now i mean you go into facebook or you go a lot of these guys that go into these new no, apps, i'm talking about new... just the regular guys what is the, the regular, regular guy? the regular guy. guys working the health thing and being a job very much longer well they've got to have some way to pay by the food they got to have some they have to have some way to make income to buy stuff right yes and not everyone's going to want to go to a hotel but how does hilton compete with airbnb uh, they offer services that are worth the value. Well, yeah, that people want. Are there people that feel more comfortable 
staying at some corporate yeah, some entity. Some people are that, int- introverted. <laughs> they may not want to go to dinner that would at be someone else's oh, home no, that they don't know. There's definitely people that are too introverted to do that, and that's fine. All right. I like this dinner idea. Yeah, I think it's... Screw I think Airbnb, it's, it, just make yeah, it D. Yeah. Well... We did another one. We did another one. We're just peeling these thought things leadership. out. Thought leadership. Thought leadership. Sex. Haven't, we haven't done any thought leadership. We, we need thought to leadership. do thought leadership as it relates to sex. But can we, we be need? sexual thought leaders? I don't think we can. I don't know. <laughs> what if, well, you can... I don't feel capable. I don't feel of, capable. <laughs> Confident. The polite society episode. We huh? were kind of being thought leaders around yeah. sex. We, we explored what a potential conversation. And then we scurried away. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like little uh, <laughs> back into the shadows. Into the shadows real quick. Yeah. Um, but that's what you get, Carl. Mike, you just never know. We yeah. might. We there will be an episode of thought leadership around sex. Yeah. We've talked about the the penis thing in the past. The penis thing. Remember the electronic penis? Where we had the, an electronic it, penis keeps track of your strokes and all that kind of stuff oh that's right that was a, that was for from england or something yeah wasn't it? that was like where was that episode that was like I way back know, in the early still days producing those things yeah so we've been thought leadership on sex just not today no <laughs> <laughs> all right uh, well that's what you get with carl mike it's always an adventure every conversation so tune in carlmike.net you'll see uh we've got all our videos up there we even did our first blab. We need to do another one. We need one. to do another blab. No. That, is that one lie. is kind of a bust because That's I was using the phone. Carl was using his uh, at-home computer. It yeah. turns out that the mics work better on the computer, so we've got to. But we'll be doing more do and more one things one. as we take on the leading edge, Michael, on the leading edge of. Of what? <laughs> of something. The leading edge well, of that think cliff. This, we've been on leading edge today. We have big ideas yeah, here. Yeah. Well, we're talking about leading edge stuff. Yeah. Oh yeah. I yeah. Guess that's well, why. no, I think the food thing maybe is a, it's a, it's got some legs. It actually does. Yeah. So did those chicks with dicks. <laughs> <laughs> they really had nice legs. Oh, I just Jesus. don't know what they, what they got the dick. All yeah, right. Is that, is that a freak of nature? <laughs> I'm, I'm confused, Michael. I'm confused. They're called Nancy boys. No. Are, uh, so are they born that way? No, 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 no. They, they just, have beautiful breasts. Yeah, they, you can buy those. You can buy those you now? You can buy those. Get that on the net web. Jesus Christ. This is just an amazing world out there. All right. <laughs> Order them in Amazon. Really? Give me some of those, you know, Just a little surgery? Days. That's what yeah. they did? So they're guys oh, yeah. who did surgery to put on these really fantastic Well, they're breasts. kits now. What they do is you, you can you can numb your... You can put a topical underneath your breast. You're just making you cut, this, cut it yourself. They've got little <laughs> well, Velcro zippers they put yeah. in, and you just shove that son of a bitch up in there, and you got this <laughs> all of a sudden. You do need to shave the hair off your chest, though, because that's just not... Oh, that's wrong. Not, not wrong. good. I'm feeling vulnerable. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right, is that it? Thanks for destroying the vision. <laughs> anyway, peace. Out. <laughs>